Hi guys and welcome to part 28 of ASP.NET MVC core tutorials. From the previous part, if we want to display the list of drinks, we simply write in here drink list and a list of whole drinks is being shown. But what happens if we would like to show only the drinks that belong to a single category? For example, we write here alcoholic, nothing is shown. So on this part, we are going to add an additional router, which will handle the case when the user wants to get the drinks that belong to a single category. For that, let's open Visual Studio and go to drinks controller, the list method. We are going to modify the view result so we can get the drinks for each category. So first of all, in here, I'm going to declare a string type category variable. And next, we declare an I enumerable of drinks. Next, I'm going to create a new string type variable. And this is going to hold the current category of the drink. This will be used just to show the category of the drinks on the top of the page and it is going to be just an empty string. The next step is that we check if the string category is null or not. So if it's null or empty, the category string, then what we are going to do in here is that we are going to get all the drinks. So the user has the possibility to show the drinks for each type or get all of them. And in this case, the drinks are going to be all the drinks from drink repository. And we are just going to order them by, by the drink ID. And the current category in this case is going to be all drinks. And in case the string is not empty, we are going to check if the string is equal to alcoholic. So I compare alcoholic to the category that it's coming as a parameter. And of course we need to ignore the case. So in case that we are looking for only the drinks that belong to the alcoholic category, then the drinks is going to be all the drinks from drink repository where the category name is alcoholic. And we order them by name. Else we are going to get all the drinks from the drink repository where the category name is non-alcoholic. And at last, we need to assign the current category property to the category that was just selected. After we have gotten all the drinks, we need to create our drink list view model. So I'm going to write var drink list view model is equal to new drink list view model. And this has two properties. The first one is a drinks property, which is going to be our drinks. And the second property is going to be the current category and the current category is the current category property. After you have created the drink list view model, we need to return the view. So we write return view with parameter drink list view model. But before we build and start our application, we need to go to the startup class. Inside the use MVC method, we need to add an additional route. And the more specific the route is, the more on top it needs to be. So our route is more specific than the existing one so i'm going to write in here routes dot map route and the name for this route is going to be category filter and the template is going to be drink this means that it will filter only the requests coming from the drink controller then on the drink we are going to have an action and after an action we are going to have the category of the drink which is optional it's very important that the category name in here is exactly the same like the category declared inside the view result. We can add an additional property and this is the defaults property. So inside this property, we could declare our default pipeline for this controller, which is going to be new. And inside here, we write the controller. The controller is a drink controller. And the second parameter is going to be the action parameter. The default action is going to be a list action. Now we save the changes and we run the application just to check that everything works fine. So we see in here that the list of all drinks is being shown. Let us specify the category. So let's write in here alcoholic. And we see that in this case, we are going to get only the alcoholic drinks that exist in our database. Let's try with the other category. So we write non-alcoholic. And we see that our drinks have been filtered. This is all for this part. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.